Plasma is the fourth state of matter in which electrons and gas atoms are separated. There are two types of plasma, called thermoplasma and non-thermoplasma. A non-thermoplasma is a cold plasma because the gas ions have relatively low kinetic energy. This plasma we are looking at is a cold plasma from a hydrogen gas that is discharged by a Tesla coil. Since electrons and ions are charged particles, they can interact with the magnetic field. When I bring a neodymium magnet close to the plasma, the plasma repels from the magnetic field. Magnetic fields can penetrate materials that are non-ferromagnetic, and this is called magnetic permeability. The plasma repels because this single piece of the plasma is forming a closed field loop on itself. So, the magnetic field line at the region of plasma is more parallel to the vertical axis. How about a quadrupole magnetic field in which the magnetic field lines are shared with one another? we can see that the plasma is diverging at the quadrupole field region. Quadrupole magnets are usually used in particle accelerators for focusing particle beams, and they always come in pairs. This is because focusing is only done in one plane at a time. So if the horizontal plane is focused, the vertical plane diverges. This is why we need the second set of quadrupoles with flipped magnetic poles to focus the other half of the plane. This is often called the FODO cell, and optical elements such as these can be designed using the matrix. The next one is something called the deflection yoke, which can be found in old CRT TVs. It is used to steer the electron beam using two dipole fields but diverging at the end. You can see the plasma in the field region is focused. I think it's because the end of the deflection yoke is basically a dipole. But since this is a dipole pair and since electricity is induced into the coil by the Tesla coil, I think magnetic force acting towards the center is causing a compression. I would need to do more investigations into this. The last one is the magnetic mirror that I made. The magnetic mirror, in this case, is a pair of two solenoids facing each other. The coils are not powered like the deflection yoke, but I believe that the Tesla coil is inducing some electricity into it. In the center is a copper wire working as an antenna to couple the Tesla coil's high voltage output. The occasional flickering is because the copper wire is sometimes not contacting the output electrode. Anyhow, we can see that the solenoid region of the plasma is compressed. This means that a parallel magnetic field can exert a force for ions and electrons to undergo a cyclotron motion. Here are some stationary photos if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.